Hello, everybody. Welcome to Vinyasa Flow with me. In case we haven't met, uh, my name's Amy um, of Backwoods Yoga. I've been teaching for Tara for a few months now um, at Pure Impact. Um, so we'll just get right into it. If you have a bolster or even just a pillow, something just to raise your bum up, to open up the hips because we are going to start seated today. Um, if not, don't worry about it. Just find some, a comfortable seated position. You could be sitting on your shins like this. Sometimes this is more comfortable for people than sitting cross-legged. Um, if you have access to a yoga block or two, that's something um, that is an option if it's a preference of yours. Um, other than that, I'll be making sure that I can keep the flow open. So um, open to using your blocks or not. It's not like you need to have them, but I'll give options to use them if you'd like to. A um, little bit more of housekeeping before we get into it. Please just make sure you have some water because um, we are going to be doing some work here. And this is my first full pre-recorded yoga class. So uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Literally the first thing I wanted to say was good evening because that's the time of day that it is right now for me. But I realized that um, as you watch this, it could be the morning, it could be the afternoon. So if I have, if I say something and I catch myself, just let it slide. Just still adapting to this whole um, technological time of our lives and shifting out of being with you physically present in a studio. So just start in a comfortable seated position. I can't use music if you've taken my class before. You know that I love to use music, but I had a fellow yogi and a friend tell me that there's been some copyright issues with yoga classes and people using music in them and posting them on YouTube and then getting taken down. So it's just gonna be my voice. Okay, so we'll just close the eyes here. Relax the shoulders. Lifting to the crown of the head so that we have a nice long spine. Unclenching the jaw. And releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Softening into the eyelids. Just letting the hands rest somewhere that's comfortable for you. Starting to bring your attention inwards to yourself. Noticing the natural flow of the breath. as it enters into the body and as it leaves from the body. Let's take a moment and take three deep cleansing breaths together, letting go of any stress or any worry, anything that's on your mind, allowing that stress or worry or thought to leave the body with the breath on the exhale. So let's together take a deep breath in through the nose. Relax the jaw and exhale with a sigh. Two more deep breath in, fill up. And let it go. One last deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Stay here for a moment. Just observe how the body feels on a physical level. Noticing any aches, any tightness, any soreness. Maybe you're feeling energized. You can notice that. And then take a moment when you're finished reflecting on the physical body to dive a little bit deeper just to observe how you feel on an emotional level. 
Is there peace in today? Has there been peace in today? Has there been anger? Has there been sadness, grief, joy? How are you feeling emotionally right now, today? And it's important to remember in these times of reflection or observation that we are just building our awareness. We are aware. We are not judging. We are not criticizing. We're not analyzing. We're just simply becoming aware of what is. There's no right or wrong. One way of feeling is not better than another. Good. And if it resonates with you, diving a little bit deeper now to take a moment to observe how you feel today on a spiritual level. Are you feeling connected to the self, the universe? Do you feel that oneness, that connection between all beings? Or are you feeling a little bit ungrounded, a little bit distant? Just allowing what is to be without judgment. Anytime a thought comes into your head, just let it go as easily as it came. So you can imagine the thoughts are like the breath to the body. They enter and they leave. Practicing non-attachment to our thoughts, non-reactivity. We're not giving them power over ourselves. It's not that we can prevent these thoughts from happening. It's just the practice of, again, non-attachment, non-reactivity, observing the thought and letting it go just as easily as it came each time. Good. If you're on your bolster or cushion or whatever it is, take it out from underneath you. Just put it off to the side. Let's take actually the soles of the feet together out in front into that diamond shape. Lift up through the crown of the head. Straighten out through the spine. Draw the shoulders down and back. And when you're ready, we're going to start to create circles at the hips in one direction. Doesn't matter which direction. Leaning with the chest. So we're not rounding through the spine forward. We're keeping that nice proud chest, long spine, and then coming forward and back around. We can connect breath with movement here, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Option to close your eyes if you're comfortable. Just allows yourself to really come into the mind's eye. So the mind's eye is the seer of all that goes on inside of ourselves. Generally throughout the day, we use our actual physical eyes to see what's going on around us. This is your time to come into yourself. Let's switch directions going the other way. Observing how your hips feel, the left and right sides. Are you moving fast? Are you moving slow? Are you moving clockwise? Are you moving counterclockwise? I always almost want to say anti-clockwise. Good. And the next time you come back around, stay in the center, lift through the crown of the head, extend the legs forward, taking them hip width apart, pull the toes back towards you, and then take the arms or the hands just behind the bum or the glutes and bend into the elbows. So we're not shrugging up through the shoulders as we lean back. We're using our elbows to bend back. 
keeping those toes back towards you, good. So we're gonna move through a seated forward fold here. Inhale, lift the arms up and overhead. Exhale to fold forward. Good, take the hands on either side. Inhale, slide back, lift through the crown of the head. And exhale, bend back into the elbows. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, back straight up, and then exhale into the elbows. Let's do two more together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come back. Exhale into the elbows. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Good, stay here for two breaths. Deep breaths down into the belly, nice and slow. Good, inhale, come back into center. Exhale, swing the legs around. We're gonna come into our child's pose before we start to move with a flow. So take the legs wide. If you wanna sink into the hips, bum cheeks back to the, the heels, arms forward, forehead to the ground. Or if you want more of a low back stretch, bring the knees together at the front and then sit back and reach forward. Good, just close the eyes here. Deep belly breaths. One more deep breath in, exhale with a sigh, good, inhale, come forward. We're going to tuck the toes underneath and lift the hips into our first downward facing dog. So important here to have your middle fingers pointed towards the corners of the mat, the top corners of the mat. Spread the fingers nice and wide and try to distribute your weight as best as you can through the fingers and the palms, pressing them into the mat. Lifting with the hips. Good. Might still keep a bend into the knees early on in the practice, or maybe you're fully extended, just depends on your flexibility. Let's inhale, come up onto the toes. Look towards the front of the mat as you exhale. Step forward into your forward fold. So our feet are always hip width apart when we come forward to the top of the mat. Fold forward. Take a nice big bend into the knees. Contact between the belly and the thighs. And just let the crown of the head fall towards the ground. This is a good place to nod your head yes. And shake your head no. Just releasing any of that physical tension from the shoulders and neck. We love to hold stress there. Good. On your next inhale, come into your flat back. Shoulders down and back as if you're preparing for a deadlift, if that's a familiar movement for you. Good. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And then exhale to fold forward. We're going to take a nice big bend into the knees. Press the arms up, reach up, arms together, palms together, and then exhale to heart center. Good. Take a moment, close your eyes, and just bow your head. This is your time to express some gratitude towards the self. It may be just a simple thank you, or it could be something a little bit more elaborate than that. Whatever feels good for you. Good. On your next deep breath in, bring the head back to center. Reach the arms up and overhead. Look up. Exhale. Sweep the hands forward into your forward fold. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. We're going to inhale to sit back into your high plank. Exhale. Lower down. So your chaturanga, you can modify it onto your knees. Inhale, come through either into your upward facing dog or into your baby cobra. So if you're in your baby cobra, elbows glued to the sides, we're just lifting with the back extensors, reaching towards the front of the room with the crown of the head. Good. Tuck the toes underneath. On your exhale, press up, lift the hips, downward facing dog. If you're moving through upward facing dog, it'll look something like this. Just take a moment to watch me. So you inhale, come forward. 
Exhale, lower halfway. Untuck the toes. Inhale, press up. We're not lazy here. Only tops of the feet and the hands lifting the crown of the head. We're not bending backwards. We're nice and strong here. It's kind of like we're trying to drag ourselves forward. Good. And then as you exhale, you move over the toes like that into your downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Sun goes down really fast here. Good. In this position, we're going to inhale to reach the right foot up towards the ceiling. Keep the toe pointed towards the mat. We're not reaching up and out. Why do you keep that right hip square with the left, pointed right towards the ground? So you're really using that right booty cheek. Good. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, draw the right knee through, round through the spine, chin to the, or knee to chin. Inhale to extend up and out. Exhale the right knee out to the right elbow. Hover. Stay strong, inhale. Exhale the right knee through and under. So we're opening up into our modified side plank. Reach the left arm up, look up. Good, left hand comes back to the mat. Come back into your downward facing dog. Inhale to toes, look towards the top of your mat. Exhale, step forward into that forward fold. Feet underneath the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend into the knees. Inhale to rise. Push through those heels. Reach up. Palms together. Exhale to heart center. Right into your next flow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Good. Inhale, step back into your high plank and then move through your vinyasa flow. So we exhale down either all the way or into your upward facing dog <clears throat> inhale to lift through exhale to send it back into downward facing dog Ooh, losing some strength there let's do the other side so inhale pick the left foot up off of the mat keep the toes pointed towards the ground left hip square with the right on your next exhale draw the knee through to hover inhale Extend up and out. Exhale, the left knee out to the left elbow. Nice breathing. Exhale through. So we extend underneath the body. Open up onto that left hand. Lift through the hips. Press the mat away with that left arm. Reach the right arm up. Look up. Use your breath. Let it move through you. Good. Right hand comes back to the mat. We're going to take child's pose. Take a moment. Close your eyes. And just come into the body. So we're going to reflect again. Take a moment to become present with how you feel on a physical level right now. Is there warmth? Is there fire? Or is there fatigue? Is there struggle? Neither one is bad or good. It's just your own. Good. And then take a minute to come into the emotional body or the mental body. So just reflecting on how you feel emotionally. Knowing that you have every right to feel however you need to feel right now. Good. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale with a sigh. Let's inhale, move through that tabletop position, and exhale to lift the hips. Fantastic. We're going to inhale, pick the right foot up off of the mat. As you exhale, draw the right knee through. We're planting that foot right on the inside of that right hand, keeping the back toes tucked underneath and lifting up. So the arms come up and overhead, sink into those hips. Nice. So you want to make sure this left heel is up off of the mat. Good. Open up your arms into your cactus pose. And then squeeze the shoulders together at the back. A little bit of a chest opener here. 
Use your breath. Good. Move with me. We're going to inhale to reach forward. Extend through that back leg. Bring the hands. Reach them forward at ear height. And then exhale to open up into that, those cactus arms. So a little bit of a heart open here. We're looking up. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, open up. Two more together. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. We're going to stay here. Bring the hands together, palms together. Bring them to heart center. As you exhale, we're twisting over to the right. So take the left elbow, cross it over the right thigh. Good. Press the palms into each other and look over that right elbow if it's accessible to you. A little bit of a twist here, nice and strong. So we really need to use our muscles here to stabilize the body, the joints. You can do this. One more breath. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, step back into your high plank. And we're going to exhale all together to the ground for five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's keep the head center on your mat with the face lifted up off of the mat. Take the hands down by the sides. Palms facing down. We're going to break up our locust pose. So take a deep breath in. As you exhale, I want you to just lift the chest. Keep the palms on the crown, but we're lifting the chest and the arms up off of the mat. So hands on the mat, lower body on the mat, chest off of the mat, arms off the ground, lengthen through that spine. So we're looking down at the ground, reaching the crown of the head towards the front of the room. See if you can relax your bum cheeks here. We want to be using just the back extensor, so your muscles at the low back. One more breath. You can do this. Exhale, lower back down. Good. One breath here. And then we're going to do the opposite. So take a deep breath in. Get the nose as close to the ground as you can. And as you exhale, just squeeze those bum cheeks together. Lift those legs up off of the mat. Point the toes towards the back of the room. See, back of the room would apply if we were in a gym or a studio. So point your toes towards the back of your mat, I guess that direction. Squeeze those bum cheeks and lift. Use your breath. That breath moves through you. Good. And then lower down. Then we're going to connect the two into our full locust pose. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, flying through the sky, reach up, lift up, lengthen through the crown of the head. You want to be looking at the ground below you, pointing those toes. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Squeeze those shoulders together and back. One more breath. And then lower back down. Good. Take a moment. Just bring your hands forward and rest one of the sides of your head on the mat. Close the eyes. Let your body sink into the ground. Let's bring our awareness to the rhythm of your own heart beating inside of your chest. Pumping blood to the rest of the body, allowing you to practice your yoga. Such a gift. Good. Taking full deep breaths. Notice if you can feel your heartbeat, if it's starting to change pace or not. Good. Let's bring the head back to center. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes underneath. Keep the elbows glued to the sides. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we're going to do a reverse chaturanga. So use your knees if you have to. Press up. Press them out of the way and lift the body. And then lift the hips down or facing dog. Fantastic. Inhale, pick the right foot up off of the mat. Exhale, put it back down. Inhale, pick the left foot up off of the mat. Exhale, lower it. One more each side. Inhale, pick the right foot up. Exhale, lower it down. Nice and slow. Inhale, 
extend the left leg up, so keep it here. This time as you exhale, draw the leg through, plant the foot on the inside of the left hand, keep the back toes tucked underneath, arms come up and overhead. Find your stability here, really hugging all of your muscles in to wrap around the bones and to stabilize you. We can't be lazy in our poses. We're gonna fall over. So reach the arms up and overhead. Sink into those hips. Good. Let's open up into those cactus arms. Nice. Squeeze the shoulders together. Elbows are in height or level with the shoulders. Fantastic. Let's move. Inhale. Reach forward. Extend through that back leg. And then exhale. Open up into your cactus arms. Look up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Reach forward. Exhale, send it back. Two more together. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more inhale forward. Stay here. Palms together. Exhale to heart center. Twist to the left. So your right elbow comes across the left thigh. Press the palms into each other. Send that left elbow up towards the ceiling. Extend through that back leg. Squeeze the bum cheeks together. Lots of cues here. Good. Hugging everything in. <sighs> Breathing. In all honesty, I forgot to take the screen timer off this, so I keep having to come over and make sure I can see myself on the screen. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. <sighs> Good job. Okay, deep breath in. Come back to center. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, send the left foot back. Exhale, move through your vinyasa flow. Inhaling through, either into baby cobra or upper facing dog. Exhaling back. Good. Inhale up to the toes. Look towards the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop forward into that forward fold. We're gonna heel toe the feet in together. Knees together. On your exhale, sit back into your chair. This is my least favorite pose. Always has been. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to avoid it. Good. Reach the arms up. Inhale, open those arms into the cactus. Exhale, reach them up. Keep the shoulders down and away. Inhale, cactus. Exhale, reach up. One more inhale. One more exhale. Good. Sweep the hands forward. Bring the feet apart to that forward fold. Inhale into your halfway lift, lengthen through the spine, shoulders down and back, nice and strong in that tummy, the abs. Exhale to fold forward. Bend into the knees, inhale to rise. Arms reach up and overhead. Exhale through to heart center. Fantastic. Take a moment, put the hands down by the sides. We'll check in with our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Just to ground ourselves a little bit into our physical space around us and then into ourselves. So we can close the eyes, feet are underneath the hips, spread those palms nice and wide, facing the front of the room, maybe. Good. Three full breaths here. Deep breaths in through the nose, and try to slow down your exhales. Two more. Belly fills, chest fills. Last one. Good, open the eyes. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward into your forward fold. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, step back into your high plank. Exhale, move through your vinyasa flow. Inhaling through. Exhaling back. Good. So in our downward facing dog, let's do a few um, <clears throat> switches between high plank and down dog. So inhale, come forward. Not dropping the hips low. We're nice and strong here. And exhale. Hips back. Inhale, come forward. 
Exhale, hips back. Two more, inhale. And exhale. And last one. Exhale, send it back. Fantastic. Let's walk the hands to the back of the mat. We'll do a balance sequence. So we're in our forward fold at the back of our mat. Fantastic. Let's just grab opposite elbows for a moment, ragdoll arms this is called, and just let that weight pull you forward. See if you can extend through the legs a little bit. If not, that's okay. Fantastic. Release the elbows, just let the hands hang, or the arms hang nice and loose. Just clench those bum cheeks together, gentle bend into the knees, tuck the chin to the chest, and we're going to roll up through the spine nice and slow, slower than you would like. The last thing to unravel is that chin from the chest. Then roll the shoulders away from the body. Fantastic. Beautiful. Let's take the hands to the hips. We're going to pick the right foot up off of the mat. Keep the toes pointed up towards you. We want 90 degrees in that hip, 90 degrees in that knee. And you want to make sure that your hip isn't dropping over here. So we're nice and strong and level across here. So it's not this, this, we want to be here. Good. Let's take the right hand right underneath the kneecap on the right shin. And we're going to start to open up that right hip. Good, keep that right hip square with the left. You have the option now, if you would like to, to extend the left arm out towards the side. So I'm just gonna switch view so that you can see what I'm doing. So it'll look like this. Good, now you have the option to gaze over your left hand. Beautiful. When you're ready, bring your gaze back to center. Release the right leg, but we're gonna bring it back to center. I'm just gonna switch two things here. Keep the right leg up off of the mat. We're gonna step over an imaginary hurdle. Big step. Plant that front foot back up off of the left foot into your warrior three. Or if you've done a single leg deadlift, it'll look like this in part of the motion. So you want nice long spine, toes pointed towards the ground, left hip square with the right. Lift with that left booty cheek. Arms can be out by the sides or forwards. Breathe here. Find that strength. Maybe you want to bend into that right knee and then extend with me. Two more. Bend into that right knee and then extend. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, slowly with control. Lower this back foot into your warrior one position. You might have to heel toe the right foot forward. So we're bending into that front knee. Back foot pointed towards the top left corner of your mat. And there's space in your hips. It's as if you're on skis. Good, inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, take the hands to the thigh and just start to lean forward. So you should feel a gentle pull on the back of your left calf. Two more full breaths. Last one. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Look up. Exhale, sweep the hands forward. We're gonna plant them. Inhale, step back into that high plank, and then exhale, move through your vinyasa flow. It might change as you go. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press back. <sighs> Fantastic, let's do the other side. So let's walk the hands once more to the back of the mat, into your forward fold. But this time here, let's take the hands underneath your feet so that the toes meet the creases of the wrist. Gorilla pose. So here, you should be able to still sort of move as if you were going through forward fold and halfway lift. So we inhale to lengthen, 
and we exhale to fold forward. Inhale to lengthen, extend through the legs, shoulders together at the back, and then exhale to fold. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Good, take the arms out. We're going to sit back into our chair, but keep the feet this time hip width apart. So this is a good option if you have your block to place it in between the thighs, feet are underneath the hips. My blocks are made out of solid wood, so it's gonna be pretty heavy. So you sit down, arms up and overhead. So we're engaging the adductors, the adductors, muscles on the insides of the legs. If you don't have a block, just make sure that as you sit back, you're not coming in, the knees aren't like this. So you wanna keep the knees driving over the feet, maybe even out towards the baby toe. Good. Let's do three breaths here. Sink a little deeper. One more. Just kidding, one more. Fantastic, let's stand up. So we're gonna do our balance sequence on the other side. Sorry, my mat keeps shifting on my carpet. Learning. Okay, so we're gonna stand in position. We're gonna shift our weight into the right leg and pick the left foot up off of the mat this time. So this time, 90 degrees in your left hip, 90 degrees in your left knee, 90 degrees in your left ankle, hand underneath the left kneecap on the shin, and you're opening up that hip. Good, moving slowly. Option to extend the right arm out towards the side. So we're gonna look like this. And then another option to gaze over the right hand. Use your breath. Our balance poses really force us to come out of our heads and into the now, the present. Good, stay with me here. I'm just gonna move back to the back of my mat. Bring the right hand back to center. Release the left leg, bring it back to center, keeping it up off of the mat. Step over your hurdle, plant that back, the front foot, and come up off of the back leg into that warrior three. So a nice long spine, extend through that right leg, toes to the mat, arms here out by the sides, or forward and breathe. So my balance is a little bit off today. We're not holding our breath. That breath needs to move through us. Good, when you're ready, with um, control, bending into that left knee to plant the back foot into warrior one. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Good. Exhale, take the hands to the thigh, and then just shift your weight forward. Bend into that left knee. Good. Should feel a pull along the right calf. If you feel stable or comfortable, you can close your eyes. Come into your mind's eye. Become aware of all that's going on inside of yourself. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, sweep the hands forward. Plant them. Inhale, step back into that high plank position. Exhale, lower down. Inhale through your vinyasa flow. Exhale, back into your downward facing dog. Good, let's do one more sequence on each side. So inhale to pick the right foot up off of the mat. As you exhale, draw the foot through. Inhale, lift up into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, we're gonna open up into your warrior two. So plant the back heel, toes pointed towards the left side of your mat. Nice deep um, <clears throat> bend into that front leg arms parallel to the ground. So we have a tendency to reach forward here. We want to shift our weight back 
The heart should line up with the center of your hips or the belly button. Looking over the right fingertips. Inhale with me into your risen warrior. So we straighten out the front foot and we reach the arms up and overhead. The gaze follows the right fingertips. Exhale, sink back down. Getting comfortable through transition. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, root down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Make sure you're sending that right knee over towards the baby toe as you come forward. Inhale. Exhale, stay here. Flip the front palm. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, come back into your exalted warrior. So we don't want to take the left hand to relax on the thigh. We want to be strong here. So take the left arm behind the back. Reach the right arm up. Might look like this. Might look like this. Wherever you are is good. Good. One more breath here. As you exhale, take the right elbow to the right knee. Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. So this here is an option for anyone who has a block. You can get deeper into it. You can have your block on whatever level works for you. So one, two, or three on the inside of that right foot. Plant the palm and then reach up. Beautiful. Good, if you've got your block, take it out to the side. Good, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, come back to center. We're gonna cut this right foot off so that it matches the left foot. And then take the hands to the hips, keeping a nice long spine, proud chest, starting to bend forward at the hips. This is a version of forward fold. You get to see my mad widow's peak here. Good, fold forward. Again, if you have your block, an option, or you can take your feet, um, you can adjust your feet coming in or moving further out depending on your flexibility. But you wanna be pressing, so this is an active pose. You wanna make sure that you're pressing your feet into the ground, rooting down. Should feel the insides of the legs fire up. So it's as if you're sort of trying to bring your legs together. We're gonna move through forward fold and halfway lift here. <clears throat> so inhale, come up onto the fingertips, long spine, looking at the ground below you, shoulders together, and then exhale to fold, using your elbows depending on your flexibility. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, and then exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, stay here just for a few breaths. Let your body adapt to this pose. Release any tension. Release any doubt. Beautiful. It's almost chill time, guys. When you're ready, walk to the front of your mat. Let the feet follow suit. Both feet pointed towards the front of the room. Inhale, step back into your high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale through. Exhale, send it back. So good. Take a few breaths here. See if you can extend through the legs. Maybe your heels are a little bit closer into the ground. Lift the hips. Send the heart towards the back of the room. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale the left leg up towards the ceiling, and then exhale it all the way through, planting it on the inside of the left hand, and then rising up into your crescent lunge. Good, open up into that warrior too. Love that transition, it can be challenging. Good, so again, making sure, so just look down at your left knee, I should have done this last time, Look down at your left knee. You want to make sure it's not caving in. So a lot of the times in poses like these, just it's such a little awkward walk up here. <laughs> You'll see people's knees caving in here. We want to make sure that we're opening up 
into that hip space here. So sending that front knee out over towards the baby toe. Arms parallel to the ground, gazing over the left fingertips, nice and strong. So you're reaching those fingers towards the front and back. Good. Inhale with me, rise up, look up. Straight down to the front leg, and then exhale to root down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Finding that yin and yang, that balance between grounding and rising. Good, stay here. Inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, back into your reverse horizontal warrior. Right arm behind, reach the left arm up first, so to create space in the left side of the body, and then maybe a little bit behind you if it's accessible. A lot of the times we'll see people coming out of that front bend here, so just make sure you're still bending into that front knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, take the right elbow to the right thigh. You can reach the right arm up towards the ceiling or depending on accessibility, shoulder range of motion towards the front of the room. If this right arm is, right arm is towards the front of the room, you have the option. So flip the palm so that it's facing down. And then if you want, extend the left arm too. So it's as if you're holding a giant beach ball overhead. I always lose my breath here. Or if you have your block, you can have your block on the inside of the left leg. Lots of options here. Lots of chatting for me. Whichever version that you are in, you're breathing with intention. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, come back to center. Good. Let's cut this left foot off to match the right. Take the hands to the hips once more and then just start to fold forward. I want you to stop halfway. So when your um, spine or your chest is parallel to the ground, reach the arms overhead. You want the arms to be at ear height. And remember, we're pressing those feet into the mat, engaging the muscles all along the insides of the legs. Breathe here, it's not easy. Relax through the face, relax the jaw, Keep the energy where you need it. Spread those fingers wide. You can do this. Telling yourself that you can. One more. Good, take the hands to the hips, bend into the knees, stand up, step towards the top of your mat. Good job, everyone. We're gonna to start to bring it down to our mat now. So inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And we'll exhale to fold forward. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. And let's just bend into the knees, come down onto our bums, and then transition onto our backs. Good. Keep the soles of the feet on the mat, hip width apart. Take a moment, open your eyes, and look up at your ceiling. We're just viewing the world with a different perspective. This is my favorite stretching series, so we're gonna take the left foot, pick it up off of the mat, cross the left foot over the right thigh, and then send the left knee away from the body. So you should feel this on the outside of your left bum cheek. So the external hip or that booty cheek on the left side. If you need to get a little bit deeper into the stretch, your next option is to pick the right foot up off of the mat and interlace the fingers behind the thigh. Close your eyes. This is not a time, this stillness is not time to um, bring back your day. So we're not bringing our attention back into... Oh. Good job. We're not bringing our attention back into our to-do list that we constantly have. We're keeping our attention within ourselves. So close your eyes, 
Bring your attention to that left hip space. If you need to get deeper into the stretch, you can interlace the hands on top of the right shin. So these three versions of the stretch, one is not better than the other. They're all just provided to accommodate um, all different levels of practice. Good. If you have your hands on the shins, bring them to the shin, bring it back behind the leg and extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. So another active stretch, pulling the toes down towards you and then pulling your quadriceps, so your right, right quad, the front of the right leg, pulling that knee up towards the body to extend through the back of the leg. Fantastic. Let's take the arms out to the sides. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to lower the right leg to the ground for four, three, two, and one. Take this left sole of the foot to the inside of the right leg somewhere into your reclined um, tree pose. Opening up into the front of that left hip space now. Just breathe. And when you're ready, let's take the soles of the feet together into that Supta Baddha Konasana or your reclined butterfly. Knees in the diamond shape. Take four full intentional breaths here, filling the belly, filling the chest. And then slowing down the exhale. Before we come out of this pose, just start to press the soles of the feet into each other. So again, just engaging the insides of the thighs and then bringing the knees up and together. Good. Separating the feet, shoulder, or hip at the part. <clears throat> when you're ready, crossing the right ankle now over the left thigh. Good. So sending that right knee away from the body. Often to pick the left leg up off of the mat and interlace the fingers behind the thigh. Just embracing this quietness. This being. You can interlace your fingers on the shin if you need more of a stretch into that external hip on the right side. Beautiful. If you have your hands on the shin, bring them back behind the leg. Extend the sole of the foot up towards the ceiling. Pull the toes down towards you. Draw the left kneecap up towards the body to extend through the back of the left leg. Beautiful. Take the hands out to the sides. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower this leg slowly. Four, three, two, and one. Taking the right sole of the foot to the inside of the left leg. Into that reclined tree pose. With each inhale, you can visualize sending that breath, that love and that light down into that right hip space and exhaling any tension, any resistance. Inhale to heal and exhale to let go. Beautiful, our final pose when you're ready extending the right leg forward into your final Shavasana. Eyes closed. Good. 
I invite you to bring your awareness now back into your physical heart space. Or perhaps that heartbeat is a bit more faint than the last time we checked in. We're coming into our restful state. Keeping our awareness with that heart space. I invite you to imagine a gentle green glowing light at the very center of your heart space. And this gentle green glowing light represents health. It represents safety reassurance, and peace. Just allowing that green light to, as you're comfortable with, expand to perhaps the walls of the heart. So it's now taking up the entire space of the heart. And if you're comfortable allowing that green light to expand beyond the walls of the heart to fill the entire chest. Maybe that light moves up through the neck to fill the head, down through the belly and into the hips. Until that entire, your entire being is this gentle green glowing light of health, safety, reassurance, and peace. to bring your awareness back to the sound of my voice. And I hope that you can take comfort in knowing that this green light that represents all of those things, even if it does not have your attention, it is always there. When you're ready, just coming up with your practice as you need to. But maybe that you start by wiggling your toes and fingers. Rolling into the wrists and ankles. Bending into knees and elbows. 
taking whatever type of movement that you need just to come out of your practice and into your fetal position. Into your fetal position, just resting on one side with the knees bent, cradling the head with the arm that's on the ground. So grateful that you all took the time today to be here and to do this for yourselves. Even though we cannot all be together, I'm still honored that you've all chosen to share your practice with me. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace. Peace.